Let me first take you through the methodology that's been employed by Seawater pollsters to put together this opinion poll and it's important for you to understand that this is a combination of a snap poll conducted over a telephone and an opinion poll which takes into account tracking data over the last four weeks. Let me just try and explain that in a bit more detail. Here is the methodology. 1500 randomly selected respondents in Telangana, Rail Seema and coastal Andhra Pradesh this set of polling in these 1500 respondents was done on the 18th and the 19th of February to understand the impact of creating Telangana when it was known to these respondents that there would and could be a separate state of Telangana very soon. Tracking data of 4,297 respondents across Andhra Pradesh during the last eight weeks has also been kept into account. This is from the seawater tracking data that poll is done every week to track how the moods are changing because remember at 10 p.m. tonight we will also be putting out the national projections based on the national tracking data. The total sample size for this opinion poll is 5,797. The data has been weighted to known population profile. There is a margin of error of 3% uh, as far as the whole state is concerned and 5% for the regions of Andhra Pradesh. Let's get started and put up the first graphic on the screen and this graphic looks at which party represents united Andhra Pradesh. Samakya Andhra Pradesh, that's the movement that Jagan Reddy has been leading from the forefront. Uh, we've also seen the TDP claim that they want a united Andhra Pradesh. They keep changing their position but they've been saying that too. Let's take you through what the people and now in this uh, in this series of graphics that you will see you'll see Simandra coming up separately Telangana that's the way this poll has been done as well only 12 percent of the respondents in Simandra think Congress represents uh, the movement for a united Andhra Pradesh 26 percent in Telangana naturally low because the Congress has been seen to be driving the creation of a separate state of Telangana. The BJP also not seen as a strong votary of the Samaikya Andhra movement, only 2% in Simandra, 1% in Telangana. The TDP, which has had shifting positions, first they said they want a united Andhra Pradesh, then they said they want a special package for Simandra. The shifting positions of Chandra Babu Naidu seem to have impacted the perception of people both in Simandra and Telangana because only 28% in Simandra and 21% in Telangana think that Chandra Babu Naidu represents the demand for a united Andhra. Here is the man of the moment as far as this question is concerned. 44% of the people in Simandra, which is the YSR Congress stronghold field, it is Jagan Reddy who represents the demand for a Samaikya Andhra. In Telangana, it's 24%, but that's the crucial figure for you to keep an eye on. As far as the TRS is concerned, because they've been pushing so hard for a separate state of Andhra Pradesh, obviously nobody thinks of them as being votaries for a united Andhra because they're pushing for a separate Telangana. That's only 1 and 4%. Let's come to the next graphic that we're running because this is, and we put this together in this fashion so you can understand what the highlight is that shows really that people believe that Jagan is the key votary. Now let's come to the next question. Which party is credited or blamed for the creation of Telangana and this is to my mind one of the most fascinating set of numbers that we are putting out. Take a look and understand these figures well. 67% of the respondents in Simandra believe it is the Congress which is to be credited or blamed for the creation of a separate state of Telangana. So obviously they think the Congress is to blame for creating Telangana. Whereas in Telangana, only 22% of the people feel that the Congress is to be credited for the creation of a separate state of Telangana. Big paradox, a big irony for the Congress party. The BJP is obviously not getting, even though it's their support that helped the Congress push Telangana through, but they're not seen as the party responsible for creating Telangana because only 5% in Simandra and 5% in Telangana are crediting them. Let's now come to TDP again. They're not seen as the main movers. Simandra 5%, Telangana 2%, they're not being credited or blamed either for creating a Telangana. But what's going to come up on your screen uh, is now the figures for Jagan Reddy's party, 10% in Simandra, 4% in Telangana. Again, not very big numbers there. Clearly, Jagan Reddy is not being credited. But now look at this figure and this is again very interesting. The second crucial thing to look at because 58% of the respondents in Telangana believe it is K. Chandrasekhar Rao's party, the TRS which is responsible for creating a separate state of Telangana. Remember, the Congress's percentage was much lesser at only 22%. Uh, TRS, uh, you've got the TRS with 58%, much higher 
than the Congress. Now take a look at this. 58% of people in Telangana credit the TRS for creating a uh, separate state of Telangana, whereas 67% in Simandra blame the Congress for creating a separate state of Simandra. So the Congress is in trouble both in Simandra and in Telangana. Their gamble not working very well according to the seawater numbers that we are putting out today. Before I go across to all our experts, I also want to take you through the next question, what should be the status of Hyderabad? Should it be a union territory and joint capital? Which is what people in Simandra were demanding. So naturally, 71% of the respondents in the Simandra region feel uh, that Hyderabad should be a union territory and a joint capital. It's interesting to see that in, in Telangana, the figure is actually not very low. It is still 30% of the respondents who are okay with the idea of Telangana of Hyderabad being a union territory and a joint capital. So it's not as if 90 or 10, 80 or 20, 30% 30 is a fair number for this poll who are open to the idea of having Hyderabad as a joint capital and not insisting that Hyderabad only be the capital of Telangana. Now, let's come to the next question. What should be the status of Hyderabad? The second option was, should, should they build a new capital for Simandra with Hyderabad being the capital only of Telangana? Now look at the responses here. 49% in Telangana want that, 19% in Simandra want this. So obviously in Simandra, they want to keep on the association with uh, Hyderabad in some way or the other. It's again interesting and I'm putting out the don't know, can't say numbers over here because 21% in Telangana don't know. So there's a lot of confusion, ambiguity because there's been so much debate. They're not sure of what the way forward in Telangana is either. Take a look at these numbers in one snapshot for you to understand. 71% in Simandra want Hyderabad to be a union territory and joint capital and 49% in Telangana say build a new capital for Simandra. Those are the two big headline uh, items coming out of that story. Let's put out now the next graphic that we are looking at. Um, should Jagan Reddy merge with the Congress? And this is interesting because this graphic really reveals how people are not sure of Jagan Reddy's motives and his future designs. Do you think that Jagan Reddy could merge with the Congress? That's the question put by the pollsters. 54% in Telangana and 32% in Simandra say yes. Clearly Jagan Reddy has a credibility issue because 54% of the respondents in Telangana feel he could merge with the Congress. In Simandra, he still has a certain higher level of credibility. 45% say no, he's unlikely to merge with the Congress. But in Simandra, and that is 32% uh, say yes. That's also a very high number, mind you. But 54% in Telangana feel this man is up to political games. And after uh, the elections or maybe before, he can at some point in time in the future still merge with the Congress. Let's take a look at the other question that we put out. And this has to do with whether the TRS will merge with the Congress or not. And this again is very interesting because the answers to this question show that a lot of people actually believe that the TRS also could not just have an alliance with the Congress but could also actually go in for a merger with the Congress. Clearly the credibility of both these parties is not very high. Take a look at the figures that we've got. Uh, can the TRS merge with the Congress? 46% in Telangana and 57% in Simandra say yes. Clearly, K. Chandrasekhar Rao also has a credibility issue in both those regions because people believe despite his protestations, despite what I'm sure the spokesperson from the TRS will say very soon, they believe that at some point in time, in the near future, the TRS could merge with the Congress. This is the first set of graphics we're putting out tonight. We will, of course, be projecting for the entire state uh, of Andhra Pradesh will be projecting separately for Telangana, will be projecting separately for Simandra. But I want to welcome our guests for tonight, our lead cephologist Ashok Lahiri. He's been going through these numbers through and through. Thank you very much sir, for joining us. GVL Narsimha Rao comes from Andhra Pradesh. He wouldn't tell me before the show whether he comes from Telangana or Simandra. GVL, you must tell us. The decision has been taken. The BJP has played its card. Which part are you from? I'm from Delhi. What? Are you, you're a Telugu. You can't say you're from Delhi. No, no. But that I, the BJP stance has been ambivalent all the way through. No. And I, I think your position at the start stand, of the show reflects the position. No, my position is exactly that of the party. Which is what? Which is, I think we are, we want justice for Simandra, but we are firmly in favor of creation no, so of Telangana. So where are you from? Simandra or Telangana? I'm from India. 
So, 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 so you can see the game that the BJP no. is playing. They want to milk Telangana for what it is worth, no but they don't want to take any flag for what is happening in Simandra either. Javed Ansari was in parliament all through the day and he's been tracking the political developments. Just describe to our viewers, Javed, at the top of the show, the mood inside the Rajya Sabha when the Telangana bill finally went through. Well, I've, I haven't, I've seen a lot of highs and lows, but you know the way this Telangana bill has been debated, especially in the Lok Sabha and also uh, in parts in the Raj Sabha, it, it is, is absolutely something totally unusual by, by these standards as well. Raj Sabha redeemed itself, they debated, they had a debate and everybody had their say. But towards the end when the Prime Minister was speaking, we had some very unsavory scenes and it left a sate with Trinamool Congress of all people who don't, who, I'm not even sure if, if more than five people in, the, in all of Andhra Pradesh know who Mamta Banerjee is. They were, they were tearing up the no, bill. But and the irony is, is we had Dinesh Trivedi and Derek O'Brien tell us when we were in Central Hall together, oh that what these people are doing is completely wrong and their MPs go out and do exactly the same thing. Yeah, because thing. Mamta Banerjee was here uh, uh, till last night okay. and she gave them express orders that you have to She's worried it could happen with Darjeeling as well. Also, uh, I want to welcome to the show one of India's foremost political commentators, Veer Sangvi. Welcome, sir. Great to have you yeah. back. I want to go across first to Ashok Lahiri. And on the first five questions that we've put out, the big headline really is, Congress is being blamed in Simandra for creating a separate state of Telangana, but in Telangana it is not being credited for having created a separate state of Telangana. Can't get worse and more ironical from the Congress's perspective. Absolutely. I mean, the figures that you have shown so far brings out one thing very clearly. Andhra Pradesh has been a solid asset for the Congress ever since it was created in 1953. This state is almost like a bridge between East and North India and South India. And the International Congress has never got less than 33% of the popular votes in any Lok Sabha elections. But so far what you have shown, things are not going well. Remember, even in 1977, when Mrs. Gandhi lost every state, the Andhra gave Mrs. Gandhi's party 57% of the votes. And the party won 41 of the 42 seats. The first question is whether Congress will be reduced to a very minor party in what was former Andhra Pradesh, if not in Telangana, at least in Simandra. And what you bring out is very clear that the, in Simandra at least, two-thirds of the people believe it's the Congress which is responsible for the bifurcation. And when you come to the other questions, you will find that this on, these will only reinforce the swing away from the Congress. So the major question that I find, cephalogically coming out from this, that the largest swing that we have found away from the Congress is 14.5% between 1980 and 1984. Are we going to see a swing away from the Congress which is even bigger than that? I'll stop there. Okay. I want to understand from GVL Narsimha Rao, the pointers on the BJP, because the BJP is neither being credited for the creation of a separate state of Telangana despite your support to the Congress both in the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha with all the caveats built in, nor is it being blamed for the creation of a separate state. So the BJP continues to remain a fringe of marginal player despite all of what you are about to say in the next one minute. So you have already concluded <laughs> what I am going no, to say. Because you are going to say what a great job the BJP is doing, how it is picking up a lot of vote share. The figures so far do not reflect that. You see, Telangana today is on the on the threshold of becoming yet another state in the BJP's uh, uh, BJP's cap. I think mark my words because Chhattisgarh, like Chhattisgarh, has been with the BJP for so many years. Uttarakhand BJP had been in power on and off. We have been in power in Jharkhand. Chhatt Telangana is uh, is quite similar in terms culturally and in many other respects with the northern India with the Hindi belt. So we certainly see and today. You see, the credibility of the BJP in the state of uh, Telangana has always been very high. But somehow we have not been able to translate that into uh, uh, electoral support. But with this happening, with, 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 the, with the kind of wave that the BJP is, uh, with, with the kind of wave that BJP has built, with the kind of popularity with BJP leadership enjoys, particularly Mr. Narendra Modi. I have seen some numbers. I think you will be putting them no, out don't, don't go ahead. Don't okay. go ahead of so, us. So we will be able to, we will be able to, for the first time, translate 
the kind of uh, mass support that the BJP enjoys into electoral support. No, and the big news G for us, the yes. big news from this poll is that despite the, despite the uh, efforts of the Congress party, they have lost out Simandra for sure and they are not going to, be, they are not going to make it in uh, Telangana. So I, I think this is really the big news, no. the big news of your poll, which is music to my ears, is Congress's purely electoral calculations have prevailed in this case. But we have supported it because we've been uh, conceptually, we've been uh, okay, give committed to chance. the cause. We've been committed to the cause. This is but not a Congress, stump speech just yet. Congress, give everyone a chance. But Congress is not going to get Please any electoral But GDL makes an important point. Yeah. The reason that the Congress pushed this through yeah. in the day in the acrimony and the rancor was that they thought that they could at least salvage Telangana, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. The figures so far show they're being blamed for creating Telangana in Simandra but not being credited in Telangana. Well, they've got 26% or so in Telangana. They will probably do an alliance, I imagine, with TSR, and at some stage we'll get something over there. But we all working on the assumption that the Congress started with a base in Andhra, destroyed it by pushing from Telangana. Let's not forget, the logic was the Congress would have been wiped out in Andhra anyway. Absolutely. Jagan had sort of wiped out the Congress. Telangana is a desperate move to try and get some seats out of all the seats they had earlier. Whatever they get is a bonus. And if they get anything at all, because the numbers that you will see in a while from now may reflect that the Congress by itself is not very strong in Telangana either. But we'll just take it by and by. I also want to introduce our guests from outside uh, our studio tonight. We Hanuman Trao representing uh, the Congress party. Oh my God. He, thank you very much sir, for joining us. You've been a big votary, a big supporter. We've got uh, G Vivek representing the TRS. We've got SP Reddy representing the YSR Congress, TS Sudhir. Uh, one of the sharpest minds on Andhra politics joining us uh, from Chennai tonight, P. Prabhakar, political analyst from Hyderabad. I want to go across to Sudhir first. What are you making, Sudhir, of the first set of numbers and describe to our viewers also beyond just these numbers, since this is such a big day for Hyderabad, the mood in both parts. What are you picking up from all your correspondents on the ground, Sudhir? Well, celebrations definitely in most parts of Telangana. It is the result of a huge dream which has come true. Uh, of course, gloom in most parts of Simadra. That's what we saw even after the Lok Sabha had passed the Telangana bill. Uh, there was gloom in most districts of Simadra region. Uh, they somehow expected that somehow this thing will be stalled uh, by some force as it were. But that was not to be. It has been in, a many, in many senses a David versus Goliath kind of fight. Uh, the money bags uh, or the politicians of Simandra always believe that Telangana will never become a reality. That has uh, happened and in many senses there is that kind of uh, uh, mood of uh, pessimism and gloom as far as the Simandra region is concerned. Of course, since 2009 December we have seen that the two regions haven't been able to live as good brothers. Now the only hope is that for this map of Andhra Pradesh which has in many senses been held together by band-aid, people can actually stay together as good neighbors. So in, in many senses today is a very momentous day. Telangana has actually become a reality, uh, the result of a 14-year struggle by the Telangana Rashtra Samiti in particular. And in the last four years, we have seen that Andhra Pradesh has been known only for this acrimony and bitterness and hatred uh, that has crept in between the two regions of Telangana and of course, Rail Sima and Coastal Andhra. Okay, Mr. Vivek from the TRS. It's interesting that despite the Congress party going out of its way, moving hell and heaven to try and push the Telangana bill through, the party doesn't really get credit for creating a separate state of Telangana. It's your party, the TRS, that's walking away uh, with most of uh, the credit for having built up the momentum that saw the creation of a separate state of Telangana. As I told earlier in another TV channel, Telangana was a state by itself before merging with uh, Simandra, despite the first SRC recommendation. Having said that so, we have lost 60,000 jobs as per the presidential order. There are discriminations in allocation of water. There are discrimination in allocation of funds for Sima, uh, Telangana. That's why this agitation picked up and Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao was able to create a movement to highlight that uh, Telangana needs to be addressed separately. That's how Raj Shekhar Reddy wanted to become the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh okay. and he thought the best way to do it is strike an alliance with TRS party. Chandra Babu Naidu thought in 2009 that he will strike an alliance with TRS party and come back to power like what Raj Shekhar Reddy did. Both failed and then Kiran Kumar Reddy, if you see, he also was telling that I will abide by whatever the High Command says but he went totally against the High Command. 
day by belying the trust the high command had sure. in uh, Mr. Kiran Kumar. No, but Reddy. there is there is That's also a credibility crisis before the TRS. Clearly, a lot of people. If you look at the question, I'm going to ask our producers to play it out right now. I can see it. Will the TRS merge with the Congress? 46% of the respondents in Telangana and 57% of the respondents in Simandra say yes. Your party, sir, faces a massive credibility crisis. People believe that now that Telangana has been created, you will merge with the Congress party, sir. That's the mood on the ground, regardless of what you will say now. He himself came from Congress party. Right. His father was a senior Congress yeah, leader. I, I myself came from Congress. Yes. Uh, and I have to admit that uh, because uh, I was seeing that uh, the Chief Minister, then Chief Minister, Mr. Kiran Kumar Reddy, was uh, uh, convincing the High Command, saying that this is not the true feeling of the people of Telangana, that they want Telangana. It's only a few leaders... No, you're not answering my question, Dr. Telangana. Vivek. If I get through Forgetting. to you, can I just request, yeah. time is scarce. Yeah. I want you to answer my question. No. My question is that your party faces a credibility crisis. People, a uh, massive proportion of those people who've been Mr. polled in Chet. this sample, believe that you will merge with the Congress now that Telangana has been created. Answer just this question, sir. Why is your party not credible? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, my pa party is definitely credible. That's why, despite several pressures, uh, the party has agitated for Telangana for the last 12 years. It's been a peaceful agitation. And on several occasions, Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao did mention that for him, achieving Telangana is the most important thing because it's the aspirations of the people of Telangana. So he has stuck on to that guns and he's also mentioned several times that in case Telangana is given, definitely there will be options because Mrs. Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, as we have seen in the last 15 days, had to move hell and earth to ensure that all political parties in parliament support this cause. And uh, the bill was passed in both the houses, despite the Simandra politicians uh, going hell yeah, and earth. I also want to go across to, to Hanuman Rao. Being passed Mr. In both Hanuman the Rao, of are you ecstatic over the moon with the fact that a Telangana has finally been created? Uh, although the problem from your party's perspective seemed to be while you're being blamed in Simandra, you're not being credited in Telangana. How do you explain this paradox, sir? You see that from the beginning, we are saying we are not against Raila Simandra people. Because parties, they are three by fourth, we are one by fourth. Last 60 years, we are suffering like anything. Every time one package, 610. Uh, six point formula, everything for namesake. After that, the Telangana people getting nothing, only budget will allocated after the budget also. When the end of the year, that budget also going that side. Unemployment problem, irrigation everywhere. Because who are in majority, they will take over over the BR, we are in minority. For that purpose, we are saying, sir, how long you can. <coughs> put down for Telangana people. So our request is, is the oldest ambition. In 1969, there is a big movement. In 72, separate Andhra movement. After that... No, but this is all today, history now, Mr. Anuman Rao. Today, the reality today is, and I don't see any sense of elation or happiness uh, in your intonation, there is a new state of Telangana that is being created. I'm also joined on this broadcast now by L. Rajgopal, known to most people in India as the Pepper Spray MP. Uh, Mr. Rajgopal, despite all your protestations, Telangana has become a reality. And interestingly, what you were telling me when we met in Parliament is actually coming true, that you're not being credited in Telangana while you're being blamed in Simandra. So does it mean it's uh, pack up and curtains down for Mr. Raj Gopal and everybody else from the Congress delegation in Simandra? You've already said, I think, that you don't want to contest anymore. See, I already announced long back that the moment state is divided, I quit politics. According on 18th, the moment Lok Sabha passed it. I did submit my resignation. On 19th, it was accepted. And I also announced that I'm not going to be part of any political party. So I distanced myself from all political activities. And I also did say, Having worked for the unity of Andhra Pradesh as a state, now I would like to work for the unity of Telugu people so that peace and harmony prevails. So I have a social objective, I will work on that. So it doesn't matter whether I have politics or not. I did think that unity of Andhra Pradesh is good for all the regions at a national perspective and also in terms of the state also. But anyway, okay. uh, it now is the past, it's a history, what happened is happened. Okay, I, I, I want to go across and play out some more 
of the graphics which are very very interesting and very very revealing and then we will get our panel to explain those numbers. Let me go across on the question of who is the best leader for your region and the answers are very very revealing. Let us just take them one at a time who was the chief minister for the party uh, when Telangana was created. Now we are asking people here who do you think is the best leader for your region and you will see now answers from both Simandra and from Telangana one by one. If we can have the graphics up on our screen, please just bear with us for a moment. They're just coming up, I'm sure. Okay, just give us a moment. I think our machine has hung. So if you bear with us for a moment, we'll put that out. Uh, and in the meanwhile, what I will do is just while we try and put this together, uh, you want to come in, sir, and make a point. Yes, Miss Lyle. See, Rahul, what it gives me is a feeling of deja vu. In what way? In uh, the sense that when Andhra Pradesh was created in 1953. Hyderabad was not the capital. The capital was Karnool. And when Hyderabad joined India, and at that time there was a demand for Vishal Andhra and Telangana. It's a very old debate. And in the 1960s and 1970s, it's very interesting that there were demands, there were rebellions. In fact, Dr. Chenna Reddy, he formed the Praja Rajam uh, party in, and then Mrs. Gandhi was Telangana party, in, in not Telangana, his, his name was uh, Chenaridi's party's name, I'll, I'll come back to me and uh, it was called um, Telangana Praja Samiti, it was called Telangana Praja Samiti, he formed the party but Mrs. Gandhi was the prime minister at that time. And when he found that after splitting the Congress, some Congress legislators realized that Prime Minister Indira Gandhi is not in favor of this. Quickly, Dr. Chenna Reddy came back to the Congress. So this particular thing, the deja vu that I'm talking about, Telangana Praja Samiti, whether TRS will go the same way. Of course, Dr. Chenna Reddy couldn't get Telangana and came back to the Congress. Whether Kiar Chandrasekhar Rao, yeah. will come back to the Congress after having got Telangana is a very interesting unlikely. question. Yeah. No, but will he do that? It's unlikely, Ram. That is, that is interesting. I want to go across to SP Reddy from the YSR Congress. And the figures that we've seen so far is that Jagan Reddy in Simantra is being credited as being the true votary of a united Andhra, much more than any other party, any other leader. It seems on every question in Simandra especially, uh, Jagan Reddy heads and shoulders above the others but that same sort of popularity not being reflected in Telangana. So yours is a single region party. Unlike Jagan who tell us and when we interviewed him said, I will sweep Telangana and uh, Simandra both. Yours is purely a regional party for the state of Simandra now sir. Yes sir, we are the champions of the United Andhra Pradesh. <coughs> Jagan Mohan Reddy is the champion for the United Andhra Pradesh and we repeatedly told whoever yes joins for the United of Andhra Pradesh will support them but neither Congress nor BJP. Congress and BJP put together they divided the state. Today our state is divided very sadly and all our efforts to keep the state united went waste. Actually, I tell you, sir, 75% of the population of Andhra Pradesh is for United Andhra Pradesh, including Telangana people. No, that's Maybe what Jagan Reddy has been saying. That yeah, question has been sorted. Yes, that's what you'd like people to believe, but no, that no, question no. has been addressed. I think we no, need to I move forward. I have a question forward. for Mr. Reddy. Yes. Mr. 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 Reddy, I... Javed has a question for you, sir. Mr. Reddy, your leader, Mr. Jagan Mohan yes, Reddy, sir. went out on a limb to woo. He even took the risk of saying that he's willing to support Mr. Modi. Provided he supports the idea of United United Andhra Pradesh. Now the BJP has, has lent its shoulder to the wheel and supported the creation of Telangana. Now the the BJP has, has lent its shoulder to the wheel and supported the creation of Telangana. So what happens? You have been left high and dry. We will, we will not support anybody. We will go alone together. Today everybody betrayed us. They have divided the state. We are very much worried. And now we will go alone. We will not support anybody. You are saying you won't support anybody, but very clearly what is understood now, Veer Sangvi, is that the 
the party no. no no one second jagan's party is essentially a simandra party right. there is a, not a telangana in simandra pan andhra party no. there will be now be a party primarily in the region of simandra absolutely i think he's going to be probably if these figures hold at least the ones we've seen in the beginning i haven't seen the figures later he's probably going to be the largest single party in simandra he's going to have a substantial chunk of mps if we have a situation where whoever is going to form the government needs mps from outside they're going to come to jagan he offered modi a chance to say i will join you now if you support united andhra he was spurned on that so my guess he's up for grabs i also had an interesting you've interviewed him i haven't that when he was attacking the congress his attack was not so much on the congress it was on the gandhis it was italian national congress etc he is trying to make a distinction between the congress his father worked in and the decisions of sonia gandhi which in the future who knows what holds for the congress could be significant but do you I but do you see but in the future do you see a congress without the gandhis i don't but i'm not sure that jagan shares my view no because we asked him is there any possibility of coming back to the congress ever and he said that the party that sent me to jail if they had sent you to jail rahul would you have gone back and joined that party so in that sense sudeep jagan reddy is very clear uh, that there is no question of going back but do you think what's your sense of being on the ground do you think there's a possibility that that could change later sudeep well given the manner in Sir, which congress jagan mohan reddy now. during his delhi visit attacked sonia gandhi calling the indian national congress the italian national congress shows that he has kind of decided that the congress is not likely to come back to power at least in the 2014 elections he has decided that there is going to be no truck with the congress at least in the simandra region where the congress is on a very weak wicket also he realizes that the telugu desam and chandrababu naidu's uh, uh, going to the people saying that he is likely to go back to the congress is not creating a very good effect with the people as even the numbers show so in that sense it's a very deliberate strategy for the moment to distance himself and his party from the congress what happens tomorrow we would know only depending on the numbers also it's very important for jagan mohan reddy to also tie up with the party which is in power at the center of course at the moment it looks very difficult because he had said that he will support the party which supports a united andhra pradesh cause given the fact that both the congress and the bjp have actually supported the bifurcation of andhra pradesh that would be a little difficult for jagan to do but post the numbers in may 2014 he could very well go along with the party which is in power in in delhi which could very well be the nda given the fact that he's also no but uh, there is a uh, problem then to, uh, narendra I mean, modi because, him as a good because the bjp it. needs to make a choice you can either have the tdp or you can have the ysr congress you can't possibly have both we can have both i think let me tell you why <laughs> yes, because yes. no no i'll tell you why <laughs> nobody wants congress to the congress party with a barge pole yeah. in jagan doesn't want to chat no, 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 chandra no, babu no, naidu chandra babu no, naidu will not want to touch jagan how will you resolve this post election TRS everybody Jagan, wants a part TDP, of the party everyone will want to be uh, with the central government everyone that's how you have SP BSP coming to be a part of your uh, UPA government Rahul because Rahul. because in the new states both the states will have lot of needs yeah. both the states will need uh, a center which has their ears so i don't agree rahul if, this, if these figures are correct then in these elections nobody wants to touch the bjp either in telangana or in no Shimana. no telangana we are going to win you you just watch yeah. out we'll you just watch out the no, no, yes, 2014 because we win telangana <laughs> no no not win we will be a it will be a three horse race the congress trs and bjp it will be a three horse race mark my words i think there will be a fight but what happens with between trs and congress is 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 in the realm yeah. of speculation the 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 momentum is with the trs yeah, i mean everything so, so, is in the realm of speculation whether you get seats is also in the realm of speculation so, so what i'm saying is we are three hearts we are going to be in contest seriously uh, in telangana ashok lahiri wants to make i think what gvl is saying are two different things one is pre poll alliance the other is post poll post alliance. alliance what he is saying i do not have much difficulty in accepting that after the election results are out you may find parties which fought each other against each other in the state both supporting the coalition which happened in yeah, dmk and dmk both correct. supported bachmaji so at the same time but pre poll alliance i thought rahul is what you are interested in right now it's very unlikely gvl that you can run with the i'm a hunt with the uh, hounds and uh, run with the hare at the same time okay what we'll do is we'll slip into a break there are lots of very interesting threads that are being put out we'll also look at the real vote share numbers that are being put out by this poll then we'll convert them into seats for both simandra